Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more disc golf media coverage. We have made it to the exciting conclusion, the final nine holes. We will have our Prodigy Disc Pro Tour champion crowned at the end of this event. I'm excited to see this finish. As always, I'm Tony Farrell. And joining him, Connor Wood. These guys have set an absolute pace battling everything, the other competitors, the course, and the elements. Excited to see who has put in the work and executed well enough to take home the trophy. We have had a roller coaster front nine. You can see Temu has been extending his lead, now sitting 16 under par. Yuna and Mikhail just right behind him. Samuel as well from the chase card. We got nine holes to do it. These guys got to push something out. Let's see if anybody can give Temu a run for his money. We're going to kick it off with this doozy of a hole. Hole 10, par 3, 118 meters. Not much else to do on this thing, but flip it up and ride it straight. Straightest disc you got. Just get it up in the air and try to not flare it left or right. Good luck, because that's a tall task. Especially in this season, you can see the leaves just lining the floor and the fairway there. Very easily to find a big skip if you don't control that angle just right. We have our leader, Teemu Tarekainen, up first. And flipping one up. This is the super flippy disc. Rolls over but catches a tree root and kicks him pretty far left. Looks to be circle two few trees in between him and the basket yeah given his current position and buffer that may just be him playing for the three from there on out we see Mikael look for that turnover line and get all the way up there but with a slight finish you can see why you really want to control that angle and try not to fade as he is also left with a circle two look but no trees that's a good throw any shot that does not hit a tree on this fairway is a good shot Totally agree. And Yunus up. This looks to be peering the gap, sliding wow. up into the circle. You can't get too much straighter than that. His disc just made a straight line from tee to basket. It sure did. We have Yuna up now. We know he can do this. Oh, God. oh he sure did. He's done it again. He's going to go he deep. He sure did. My wow. gosh, almost circles edge long. That boy can throw some lines. We have Temu up now. He did want it, but having to shape a very awkward flex putt, he connects with a tree. And we'll have about seven meters, I believe, left for his par. Mikael with a circle two birdie putt. Not sure if I really agree with Tamo's decision there on that putt. He could have easily just laid that up. And he decided to run it, and now he's oh, got some oh, meat. Drops the hammer, Jonas. Look, he may not be contending for those podium spots, but every stroke counts now. As we move into this back nine, ratings are on the line, potentially cash prizes. Yeah, I'm sure with the uh, point standings for the Pro Tour, he is up there. Absolutely, a great point, as Yuna secures his birdie as well. Both will be taking one stroke on our leader, who has this for par. And I would agree, I think from where he was, I personally would have chosen to pitch up, but I think this is not too stressful of a three for our leader. Strong okay. on the green all day, he makes sure to put that one in. Yeah, that wasn't quite as far as it looked off but of the it could other have camera. Been. It could have been after hitting a tree. With yeah, he ricocheted high on the tree, and yeah, I mean, that could be potentially nasty. And Mikhail for his three as well. Puts that in very nicely as we see the gallery and spectators begin to grow just a little bit. This lead card action bringing the people out. 
and bringing us all here to tell us about Hole 11. Man, what else can I say about this thing? This is the crazy hole that these guys just keep seem on making look so easy. This is par 332 meters. The fairway shaped like a U. You really got to put something so high in the air with a huge Anheuser angle. Let the thing pan and pan, but curve and curl. This is not an easy hole, even though these guys might make it look like it's easy. <laughs> they all have the shot in their arsenal. It's just a matter of executing in this moment. That's too tight. Yep. Oh, no. Turned it over too quickly. You do really need sort of a slow turn or to use the width on the left side, hugging that tree line there. We'll see Yuna try to make the adjustment as he oh, hugs no. the left tree side and hits oh, boys. Okay. one of the early trees. Huh. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So I take it back. This is a hard hole. As you can see, this is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Changing your tune, Tony. <laughs> Damn, oh, man. It looks like he... I think he went short of that first tree sneaking through the gap that Jonas was so close to. Look at that. And as Our soon leader as I has say put it, himself up there. Someone smacks me in the face and says, no, no, no. It's not that hard. Well, let's see if Mikael can't back that up. like to take a moment to comment on Mikhail matching the sole of his shoes to his shirt to his disc that's next level that that's 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 up there in terms props, of coordination bro. yeah props <laughs> <laughs> worth a shout out we see Yuna now he hit very early he's just by the Ramiran banners he has a 120 left <gasps> no he didn't well he's in the fairway at least but Man, this is for three. And he's playing he's... for bogey now at, at best, really, as he brings this one in. He will be looking at a long bogey putt. Wow. And that's almost circle two's edge for bogey. This is likely going to be a five for Yuna at the worst possible time, as Temu could be oh. taking a birdie here. And Jonas as well. Trying to cut the inside line, getting kicked out right off his first. He does not battle through. And you see now he is in Scramble City. Yeah, you remember when I said maybe there's that Simon line through the tree? Yeah, okay, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's going through there. But look at the loft on that. Came in with a beautiful height, drops it down softly. He is right up there, I believe, for a bogey save. Mikhail... The little throw to pitch himself up. This is his second sort of put himself close, wood secure, Ooh. and easy par. Nice little tree kicky there for the park job. And this is Yona for a bogey. Great effort, but as you could see, it was a big putt. Finally, we get to Tamu's drive. And this is huge. If he hits this, you can almost call it but over oh and that's it's so dead center. good it's such a good putt wow i mean this boy has a six stroke lead now well that'll be a three stroke swing over oh, Jonas. Jonas. that was high Jonas. left for Jonas. unfortunate double bogey Mikael should be tapping in his par. Double bogey for Yuna. Man, that was a swing of a hole. As a couple fives come out, a three-stroke swing between our leader with the two and two of our lead card players catching a five. They're going to need this one here. This is one to get par three, 89 meters. Hole 12 is a birdie hole. Just got to miss this tree right mid-screen here. Either right side, left side, take your pick. But you can get this hole and you need it late in the round. These guys no doubt need this hole. 
It's our leader on the box, sitting at 17 under now. An impressive pace, looking to play with some stability and what a skip off the roots. I think in that flight got a little bit of stabilization towards the end to finish straight rather than right and looking like he's in a good spot. Yeah, puts himself circle's edge, maybe just outside the circle, but as we just saw, he is not uncomfortable in that area. Mikel kicking a tree mid fairway, but getting a nice little bounce to the right. He will have a circle two's edge putt. I thought you said the only one to miss was in the middle, Tony. Well, there is only one important like. tree on this fairway, right? See, look at <laughs> Jonas. God, said, he makes that gap see? look so big. Jonas showed you what's up. You just missed the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful throw there by Jonas. He has been hitting those fairways dead center today. On some of these tunnel shots, Jonas oh, really showing Yuna. a good command of the angles. Yuna trying to match a soft Anheuser turnover, but a little bit too wide out the left. Yeah, you can just see his release is not on point today. It's From previous rounds, you can really tell the difference today. He is just a little early or a little late on the release. It's just not coming out where he wants it to go. Forgot to mention Mikael also matching the hat embroidery to the shirt, to the sole of the shoes. And on the previous hole to the disc, he gives it a good bid there and hangs it out wide right, but gave it a chance. I bet you there's even something else we're missing that he matched up. Maybe his socks. You know, <laughs> stitching in the socks or something is probably... Oh, oh Taylor my gosh. is just walking away with this. Yeah, As yeah. his competitors struggle, he is executing at crucial moments and snagging every birdie putt opportunity that he's giving himself. Yeah, this is one of those moments that your confidence level could not be higher and your competitors just have no chance. Temu, I think, is just in another world right now of focus and he keeps cashing on every opportunity Jonas secures his par Mikhail the same here Jonas as well these guys all actually I believe he had a chance Hole lucky number 13. Oh man. Par 3, 152 meters through a tunnel of trees. Got to pick right gap or left gap directly off the tee. Most players are going to play that right side, do a righty backhand hyzer flip up with something pretty understable that's going to ride straight forever and ever. And hopefully at the very end, you'll get a nice little skip fade to the left and park the hole, which not many people can say they've done because this is uh -oh. a crazy hole. Uh-oh, look at this thing. Not oh, I was going to say, how long is it going to yeah, miss everything for? Through all those trees? Come on. <laughs> you can see this hole very deceptive design where the basket being often to the left makes you want to end with a fade but the straight shot really being i think the most consistently rewarded Zionas connects with an even earlier tree very tricky par three yeah it's hard to remember the left side gap if it's really a feasible shot i see the way mikhail's going that tree is that one I feel like there's just one or two trees on the left gap that just block the perfect throw. And then everybody's now taking this right gap where you have to take the flippiest disc in your bag, hyzer flip, try to roll it over like you and I just did again for the second time in three rounds. Wow, he's done it again. That's nonsense. I mean, 
It takes so much power to throw that shot. That was so cool. Right gap on Big Heiser Engel looks to be the play for these guys who make it all the way and have the power, as the trees are never ending. I do have to give a quick shout out on the previous hole, hole 12. We had one ace. Shout out to Roni Ronkonen. Snagging Get it, boy. The lone ace of hole 12. Always awesome to feel an ace in a tournament. Final round can never be the better of that feeling. Finishing out strong. Mikhail, unfortunately, coming up a bit off the release point with that patent pending shot. But he is in the fairway. Should be able to get up and down for the four. Oh, and Tamer with a very awkward stance and stroke, but delivery. Does it matter? Not at all. He is going to get up and down for the par. He is on cloud nine right now. Feeling it. You saw the huge smile on his caddy's face. I think they are both feeling very comfortable with the situation. As we look at the scoreboards, this hole is not over, but Tamo has snuck a seven lead advantage over his cardmates here. With Mikhail now the closest behind him at 11 under, who is in trouble this hole. Yuna for birdie. There you go, Yuna. Getting one back from that unfortunate double bogey on hole 11. And he is now tied with Mikhail. Jonas securing a bogey there. Tricky early kick, scrambling through the woods. Finds himself a four. Yeah, he is officially roller coastering this back nine. As Mikhail takes the bogey as well, as you mentioned. Oh, we're not all tied up because that is a two stroke swing oh, between Yona right. and Mikhail. I did not think about the bogey from Mikhail. Yeah, also found himself wide right out there. Had some trouble making his way to the green cleanly. Gets it in three and puts it in for four. Well, here is one to get par four, hole 14, 172 meters. This is not a big hole for this course. Just got to beat the gap off the tee, righty backhand hyzer, get through these two evergreens and out into the opening, setting yourself up for the approach, which is just behind these evergreens. You can pick right side or left side, kind of depends on your drive really where you land, but this is gettable. You can get this hole, you need to get this hole. Do you know back on the box now? Showing us that familiar backhand hyzer line, which he has been leaning on here on hole 14. I think the most likely shape for all of these men here. Yeah, that is a great shot. Maybe a tad inside, but he is still in the fairway. Should have something to get up and down for the birdie. And our leader not slowing down one <laughs> bit. Tamo just puring the gap. Yeah, that's going to that's going to be deflating for his Ooh. competitors. Look at this. Oh, I don't think it quite worked out for him, but yeah, I wonder if that was intentional trying to push around the corner, yeah, or if it was just a late release, hard to say. I thought potentially it's uh, a way to get further around that corner if you can hit the gap in the line with the height. Mm. As Mikhail does not find the gap. Or does he? No, not uh, kind of. He didn't go through it, but he he does find it. Oh, look at this gorgeous throw. Get around it. Get around the tree. Oh, just, just a inside. little bit short of just perfection. Just inside, but that's outside the circle putt for birdie. Not a bad throw from that position. Yunas now a little bit more pinched off. Flex in the sidearm, but that's coming out too quick. That is a stable disc. Oh, yeah. Watch out, kids. <laughs> and our leader in position A... Is taking the more traditional entrance to the green on that right side, having the backhand fade left. He's getting claps, and those branches are moving. I did not see it come through, but 
gauging the reaction, I think that he will be putting for birdie. To be honest, I thought that was too quick fading out, but maybe he did get some kick through the trees. And yeah, Yuna is going to come up a little bit short, but still on the dance floor. Just going to have some branches in his way. Jonas from downtown. No uh -huh. way. Oh, that's online. Let's see that one one more time. Koti Pizza replay. So smooth. Uh. Circle two's edge almost. And right off the front cage. I just started to fade at the right time. So close. Looked great the whole way there. Just didn't have the height for that final push. We'll see if Mikhail now can find this opportunity. Oh, what a birdie putt. Fantastic. Squeaking it in left side. Heck yeah, boy. That is good stuff by Mikhail here. He will be giving himself a chance to be tied with Yuna here. He needs to make this. Yuna here has to make this putt to maintain his one-stroke lead. This is an not awkward an easy straddle. Putt. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. But he has to give it a go. Yeah, you have to oh, give it a go now. You've only got, got five to go. He got up further than we could see. Oh, oh. and he's unable to cash it. We don't know exactly at this point the chase card situation, but taking a par on this hole should be just all right for Temu. And a good comeback for Yuna. Yeah, I would honestly agree. At this point, Temu has not taken one bogey yet. He is six down for the round out of 14 holes. It's going to take something crazy to catch this guy at this point. I mean, if, if you're bogey free, there there's just no way. I'm sorry. Well, we yeah, got... I would agree. If you don't make mistakes, how do you, if he doesn't make any mistake, how do you catch up to the guy? Exactly. You've got to go lights out on this thing. But that's not possible as we uh -huh. come into this hole 15. Hole, <laughs> 219 meter par 4. First shot is a backhand Anheuser for the righties, turning over and fading as far right as possible to set up for the next tunnel shot, which goes over the OB pond, through a gap, by high, under a low ceiling, and then on top of a tiered green. It's an easy shot, let me just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mikael up first. Very curious to see if any of these guys will be able to find the green off their second shot to beat that little wall. It is a tall task as Mikhail fades out very early. I think he had the distance but did not find the shape. Yuna looking like he may have found the shape here as he gets that long turnover right. I think that will flatten out. Oh, and the kick. No wow. way. That's a long way up there. You couldn't place your disc in a better spot than that. I think that was too lucky. Table but our with that leader, flippy yellow disc. Is he going to cut roll into the prime time position? Unfortunately, doesn't look like it. Might have a few trees in his way, but he could just pitch out and get up and down for par. No big deal. Sounded like a soft landing for Temu Jonas, using the width very nicely here. Look at the flight. That will even open up his angle to the green, being more right side of the fairway. He will have more of a straight than a hyzer shot compared to Jonas, who's just as far down there, but more left of the fairway. And Temu, nice Anheuser layup shot. That's what you want to do. Set yourself up. Easy approach onto the green, well, easy-ish. Still got to hit a gap and beat that low ceiling and get up on the tiered green, but you're not too far away, let's say. Mikhail doing just the same, coming out of the cabbage. Let's see if Jonas has this up and down for the birdie. I mean, even with his placement, it's still such a tough throw. You see he has that straight line, as we mentioned, as he turns it over, rides the floor, doesn't quite battle all the way back left at the end. 
He'll be cutting though. Circle two. Yeah, that's circle two for the birdie. But look at this spot. Finally getting to Jonas's drive. He's got a little hyzer with a fairway driver approach. Wow. We've never seen somebody go deep of the basket on this hole. In two. We've seen it now. That's wild. Mikael trying to fight this tiered green. Looks to be swinging in beautifully. Look at that soft landing. Gorgeous approach. Just getting under the ceiling. Exactly how you want to do it. And our leader now to put this close and try to take an easy par. He puts himself up there nicely. Fades out a little bit more than I think he wanted, but great job to split the trees and to get the distance under the low ceiling. I agree. Four to go. He's got five, six meters on the putt. He's feeling comfortable right now. He's He's got his cushion. Jonas a little bit just low out of the hand. Look to have it nose down. And our leader for par. Oh. Ooh. Slight S hiccup. Swings on by. Looked at his hand. I think a slight grip issue as Yona takes the three. Really fantastic on hole 15 to go deep off the second and then make the putt. That is some serious skill right there. As Mikael drops in a fantastic par putt. And, I mean, I... I don't want to say too much, but he Tima will be losing a stroke. Well, two strokes, two that strokes, is, to Yuna. Sorry. And now it's only a five-stroke lead with four to play. It's not over yet. Then, and the chase card is still there. I would say 18 is uh, definitely a birdieable hole, but... The ones before that, still some tricky work to be done. I think absolutely cannot relax. Valitse maagisen herkullinen sienimestari ja et mene metsään. Kotipitsasta. Hole 16, par 5, 284 meters. This one is gettable. You can attack, attack, attack. Got some OB on the right side, but the fairway is pretty wide open. Idea is just to get out as far as you can. Try to get to this corner if you want to set yourself up for an eagle attempt. We'll take two humongous shots though as we come into the green. It slightly curves left to right at the very end, which means you have to bring in something special or a sidearm. Not an easy eagle, but we have been hearing it. There each has round. been exactly one per round. You're right. We'll see if any of these guys can. Make something miraculous happen here in round three. Yuna with a good shot turned it over perhaps a little bit too much, but he is well within the fairway and well down there. I totally agree. It was a little too far right side, but yeah, distance wise, got plenty of it. Mikhail, on the other hand, is sawing this off. He needs some help. Then he kind of got it. He didn't go that far in for the height that that disc was traveling into the trees at yeah he did sit down at a nice moment we see Jonas here with a hyzer release out of the hand flipping it That's up to flat perfect. and finishing left go, you took go, the words go. out of my mouth that is a nearly perfect shape unfortunate to land right next to the tree there he was I think he's at the corner almost he even almost started turning around the corner so our leader playing with that right side swings back in just in time. That is a perfect shot as well. That it is. He is right in the middle of the fairway. And using all the width available to him, you love to see it. Smile on his face is saying it all, let's say. His caddy looking to be keeping him in good spirits throughout this round. 
Mikhail going with a forehand roller to try to bend around the curve. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know how the finish will be. It's probably going to put him back in the forest. But he did get a lot of forward progress. And it was tough to say from our angle. He may not have had a decent stroke for the air shot, given how in the trees he was. I would agree. That's a very low ceiling. And Yuna is unfortunately going to be in that craziness with a errand shot for his second. And Temu, following his game plan, similar lines to what he threw in one and two, goes backhand off the tee, forehand on the second to try to flex around the corner and fade towards the green. He overturns it a bit, but he certainly has a solid look for birdie still. And Jonas drops a bomb, tombstoning yeah. into the fairway. It's the right idea. You just got to keep this in the fairway. I said it already. It's not that big of a par five. It's not that small of a fairway even. You just got to not bite off too much. Keep it in the fairway. Keep your shots open. And you can get that birdie. We even see Mikhail there. He had two okay shots and now he just put himself in the fairway. He's going to get up and down for his birdie. Look at that par, soft, sorry. buttery upshot from Jonas. So smooth, so controlled. And that should net him the birdie, correct? I, I believe so. Yeah. Our leader now, with a forehand approach, that looks to be also nearing perfection as he puts that himself be, just four or five meters away. That will be for his four. Yuna up now. To get his four, he would need to put this close or make a long putt from that landing there. And that's going to be tough. Mikhail from downtown, giving it a little nose-up bid. Mm, he didn't like it as soon as he let it go. Did kind of yank it, let's say. Looks like his elbow hinge opened up a little bit on that release, pulling it out right. We have Yuna now. A long look for Needs his birdie. This late in the round. No. Good effort, but also just a little bit late out of the hand, and that was wide right. And a fantastic <laughs> birdie from our leader to shut that door as he sees Yuna miss his long putt. He puts that one in knowing that he has put himself to 18 under with only two holes left to go. He has run away from his card mates here. Absolutely. This is all but said and done. He just needs to bar complete disaster on 17. But I don't see that being at all possible with his game right now. It's not a, an easy hole with a gap to hit. Tell us what they got to do. Well, let's see it here. Par 4, 192 meters. Got this tiny gap off the tee. Got to penetrate those and get out into the opening here as far as you possibly can to set up for this approach, which heads uphill through the trees and to left to right. As you approach the green, it is on a spine roll away all over the place going into the forest afterwards tough hole Jonas up first connecting with an early tree luckiest kick ever question mark I was gonna say the same like how <laughs> far did that kick from the camera work I mean we didn't see the disc at the end of its flight but the camera would suggest he made his way up there was that Tamo quickly throwing that it was and almost got out of the gap oh these guys are oh look at that love he's Not... out back there he'll have a throw from there he definitely will have a opportunity for par i don't know if he's going to be able to throw it hard enough for the birdie but we see the nice pure down the middle from mikhail there one of the four hitting the gap cleanly off the tee and Tamu. 
doing what you need to with that kind of a lead. You can easily go bogey bogey (laughs) to finish it out with that kind of a cushion. No big deal. Ho, 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 you know, with a big standstill forehand, really cut it close to that branch. As he lands softly on that hill, I'm curious to see how much he'll be left with. Uh, Yuno's made it so far down there, hitting That's first wild. available. Yeah, hitting the first tree and ricocheting, and then still being able to just pitch out and be over halfway down the fairway. Oh, and as that was shaping really nicely for Tamer there, it does not quite get the full flight towards the end. Knocked down by a branch. You see Mikhail, a great correction. Look at that. Two times perfect execution, and he is very close for his birdie. Zionas also shapes this nicely, comes up just a little bit short. He will be putting from the spine. Flat putt for him. And Yuna, I mentioned I was curious to see. Okay, he has a little flex forehand up there. Looked to be about 50, 60 meters. Did he just ding our cameraman? I was just going to say, I'm pretty sure that uh, that had some odd movement for that flight that it was on. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't quite sound like a tree kick either. No, it did not. Regardless, he puts himself up there. Jonas for the big birdie putt. Slides it just past. He'll be going back up for par now. There you go. Oh, Unfor- oh for, for bogey, the bogey. Rather. Yeah, that's true. That uh, it would he be did for pitch the five. out sideways. Yeah. Yep. He caught the first available and pitched out sideways on his second as an effective penalty stroke. Four throws plus a pitch out results in his five. And this is Yuna for his par. Mikael, look at how close that is. Oh yeah, here we go. Crowd's going wild. Just perfection, shaping the forehand through the first gap, getting a beautiful upshot on his second throw and securing the putt on his third. You cannot play hole 17 better than that. As Teemu takes a six. Our leader with the double bogey now. He still has the cushion, but not a comfortable spot to give away strokes right before you approach the final hole. I don't know. I think he's probably looking at the scores at this point, but... We've got the iconic hole 18, 107 meter par three. Just a soft gap off the tee. Just have this awesome, awesome green to deal with. Two tiers. Wanna land it on the first tier. Doubt you're gonna see many people park in this hole. If you do check out previous coverage from last year though, you will see Vino Makala acing this hole. Wow serious commitment to throwing over the hill to give it the run we saw mikhail throw a nice shot a bit right yuna with the correction that's parked oh my oh no it slid down but that was so good i do not think he cares about that slide that was a perfect shot it sure was oh and this better hold straight it looks like it it is. is parked Look at these guys hitting the mound on top. With putters, nonetheless. And our leader here, Teemu Talikainen. If he can avoid absolute disaster, he will be taking the lead here. Rather, maintaining the lead and taking the trophy. Fantastic shot. Teemu with an absolutely great performance this weekend. Took the hot round in round one, held the lead throughout round two, and he has carried it all the way to hole 18 here in round three. As Yuna, a strong competitor, taps in his birdie on 18, a par for Mikhail. Teemu Talikainen, your champion here at this Prodigy Disc Pro Tour, stop number five, Tampere. That's the way to do it. Finishing out the season strong, taking home the win. And well Congratulations, sir. That was an amazing 
amazing final round. I'd love to share an interesting stat with you. He had only one OB the entire weekend. Holy cow. That's, that's a feat in itself. There is no doubt. As we take a look now at the standings, we see your champion, Teemu Talikainen at 16 under. Behind him, Yona Heinonen at 13 under. One stroke behind that, Mikael Hemmer and Jonas Alto bringing us from the back on this lead card. Wow. Oh, wow, let's look at this. Jako Kankare with nine down. Congratulations to you, sir. That is amazing. As you he and ties I in second in place from a five-stroke improvement over Yuna's round. That's awesome. That is some Let's serious see the tour stuff. standings to finish it off. We have Jesse Niemannen taking home the win. Yuna Heinonen with second place, and Christian Kwoksa will take home third. Congratulations to you three guys. Well played this season. And Hope you guys enjoyed. Action packed. Make sure to like and subscribe and stick around for the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.